Thank you, Laura. Our next contestant is Pufi Teja Anamanla. His department is computer science. His advisor is Dr. Ram Nantu. His project is smart excuse me, smart stethoscope. Hear your heart. Pruthvi, please take the stage. Hi. Let me start with the story of Naima. She is a single mother of four kids living in a remote area of Tanzania, which is 60 miles away from a nearest hospital. These are her words. I asked my family to buy a coffin for me rather than spend the remaining money on my medication. She is dying. Bitter fact is, she is dying due to a treatable heart disease. And Naima is not here. According to World Health Organization, 31% of all global deaths are due to heart-related diseases and 3 by 4th of these deaths are from the source poor regions which have very low doctor to patient ratio. The doctors over there are not able to address all people's queries and issues. So why can't we use emerging technologies like machine learning which helps Google Maps to show you a fastest route to your destination or which helps you keep spam out of your email inboxes why can't we use the same machine learning to help detect these abnormal conditions of users remotely using a smartphone which has a wider reach than a physician has in those regions? Here comes my research work. I have developed a smartphone application which records users' heartbeat and uses machine learning to identify these abnormal conditions. User can share these test results with medical practitioners for further investigation. And even it's useful for a physician to record, visualize, and listen to this patient's heartbeats more conveniently. Now, how does it work? A stethoscope is used to listen for any irregular sounds. And it requires years and years of experience for a doctor to relate it to an abnormality. But, Intelligent machine learning model here does it all. I have collected heartbeat audio files from people with various conditions like normal and different kind of abnormalities as shown and trained a machine learning model out of it. The final machine learning model is intelligent enough to recognize the user's heart conditions with 88% of accuracy and I'm working to improve. Now all that a user needs is a smartphone to install the app and a low-cost stethoscope attachment to it. With exponential rise in smartphone usage and it's, it's, uh, it has a reach of every nook and corner, we can, uh, with, uh, once my application is deployed in the future, it will be extremely useful in preliminary diagnosis of these heart conditions and people like Naima don't have to die due to lately detected diseases. Thank you.